Today I rise to adjourn in memory of Margaret Hudson, who died on Sunday, February 2nd. She was 93 years old. At six months old, Margaret's family came to live in a part of Fresno known as Old Fig, at the family home that Margaret often referred to as the Acre. The Acre, the wildlife of the Sierra Nevadas and the natural clay soils of the San Joaquin Valley would become her inspirations in her art. Following graduation from Fresno High, the artistically inclined Margaret briefly attended the California College of Arts in Oakland. Her experiences would soon take her to the East Coast, Japan, and Korea, as she and her husband, Gilbert, followed their work as missionaries serving the poor. The troubling sadness and poverty that Margaret saw as a missionary and the difficulty that family illnesses brought prompted Margaret to return to the arts both for comfort and for economics as she worked to support her family with her talents. The clay that is so readily available that we can find in the valley became that medium. Many of us who are raised in the valley can identify Margaret Hudson's creations just by sight. Bears, quails, squirrels, acorns, frequently captured Margaret's spirit as she worked over the course of decades in the Earth Arts Studio. This Earth Arts Studio became a refuge for visiting school children, women, and recent immigrants because Margaret never forgot her experiences as a missionary helping the less fortunate. Today, nearly 2,000 school children visit the Earth Arts Studio every year, and Margaret Hudson's pieces are easily found in homes, businesses, and museums throughout the valley. Although words may bring little comfort to our community and her family that grieves the loss of Margaret Hudson, her legacy in the arts and humanity will live on in her work. Members, I ask that we keep Margaret's son and grandchildren in our hearts and prayers, and that we adjourn in memory of Margaret Hudson.